late afternoon. It is 12.22 p.m. We're getting a bit of a late start today with the vlog. In Blocktober day 10, I did a socks clean out and during that time when I was editing the description of that video, I decided that I wanted to do like kind of a closet clean out series where I just go through my closet and like figure out what I want to get rid of because my I don't want to say like my closet is huge but I do have a lot of stuff in it and I just think it would take way too long to do it all in like one video or vlog so I'm kind of just taking it by vlog so in day 10 I did socks and then today I think I'm going to focus on my outerwear because I did say I was going to do that over these past few vlogs and I just haven't mainly because I haven't been feeling well but I think I might do that today so let's go to my closet honestly I was trying to decide if I wanted to eat lunch first before filming this video but we'll see as this progresses where I'm at and if <laughs> If it is getting to me that I need to eat food so we're really taking a risk and a gamble right now by recording first and then eating later so let's just get into it Ugh. so I got everything out I'm only really considering hoodies jackets shackets anything that is like open clothes I am including in this outerwear section I'm not including sweaters because i think that falls under like the tops kind of thing or like i might just have that be like a whole separate thing let's just get into it we have so much i honestly don't know if i'm going to try any of it on uh, it might just be one of those things where i show it but we'll definitely see so the first one on top of the pile is this jean jacket i got this jean jacket from the bins a long time ago it has this fun red satin lining on the inside but it has no pockets, which I think is pretty tragic. It's in pretty good condition. There's no tag on it. Um, but there's like a lot of like rips on it. So it's definitely like pre-loved. And then I put all of these patches and buttons on it myself because I've always wanted a jean jacket to customize. And so I'm definitely keeping this because first of all, I customized it myself. I like made it my own and it has a lot of things that I love and I just can't see myself getting rid of it. Next is this Flower Boy hoodie. This Tyler the Creator Save the Bees orange hoodie. John found this at the bins. He was going to sell it, but I kind of wanted it. I've always wanted Tyler the Creator merch um, and I like this orange color and it's really pretty, so this I'm keeping for sure. LL Bean forest green corduroy jacket um obviously keeping i also got this at the bins a long time ago it's in really great condition like there's only like two stains on them prior to me getting it and i love it it's it's great wow already off to a great start the first three i'm already <laughs> deciding to keep you'll see a lot in like upcoming segments of this series that i love corduroy so you're gonna see a lot of the corduroy texture so i have this brown it says woman within i think it's a plus size brand but it's just this brown corduroy like jacket shacket i'm gonna keep it because i don't own a lot of these like shackets and so whatever i do have i'm probably gonna keep corduroy green like it's kind of like a like a light green studio works shacket it has these steel like these metal buttons it's cute this one's a maybe. I like the green color, but I don't like the buttons and I don't really wear it that much. Brown corduroy long jacket that has this floral detailing. I think I got this from Issy to the Label on, their, on her website. And it's really pretty. I really like it. I wore it to an interview once. I can't get rid of it. It's too pretty. Fuchsia Five Sauce Calm hoodie. I am at odds with this hoodie all the time because I almost never wear it. And the only reason why I kept it is because it cost me $90. I don't want to get rid of it, but if I do decide to get another Five Sauce hoodie, because this one's kind of like lame. Like, no offense to Five Sauce and their merch team, but this is kind of plain. It's just like this fuchsia tie-dye. I don't even like the color fuchsia and then just like the print of it saying Five Sauce Calm, which is the name of one of their albums, but I think I'm kind of just keeping it so that way when I do get like another Five Sauce like 
merch item, like a hoodie, I think I'll be getting rid of this. Okay, this is a maybe. Damn it, I just feel like I'm betraying them by like getting rid of their stuff. Amazing jacket from Innovations, it's vintage. Look at this green color, oh my God, this, this was so great in the winter last year, like it is so comfy. I love, I love the green and the brown. I love that color combo so much. I don't think I could ever get rid of this. I think I got it on Instagram, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. There was a period of time where I was buying from Instagram resellers. They were ran by women, so I kind of trusted them. There was a period where I was following like a couple and their posts just kept showing up on my timeline. So I really went down a rabbit hole of buying stuff from Instagram, but I don't think I'll get rid of this. I love the colors. I love the fit. I don't know if it's vintage, but it's an Eastern mountain sports jacket. <gasps> Oh my god, this reminds me of Joel Miller from The Last of Us. Oh, you're oh you're joking. I love that man. I love Pedro Pascal too. Shut up. Oh my god. I got this way before the TV series came out, but I've always been a fan of the video game. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh my god. I love this jacket so much. I thrifted this like in 2018. It's one of my favorite purchases ever. <sighs> I don't know what it is about me in heavy duty jackets. I can't get rid of this one. I just can't, I can't. I am considering a little bit, but I do like it a lot. I have this Grand Banks performance hoodie and it's just this tri-colored heavy duty hoodie and it's so soft, it's so comfortable. I'm gonna have John try this on later on when he gets home and if it fits him and he likes it, I'll let him have it otherwise. I might just sell it, but this is definitely a maybe. Okay, this for sure I'm gonna get rid of. It's this green Columbia jacket. I thrifted it a long time ago. It was when I was like on a date with John and we didn't realize it was like a cold front. So I was wearing like, I think a tank top or like a short sleeve, just obviously something without sleeves. And I was cold. So we went into like Goodwill and I bought this really quick. Cause I was just like, it'll do, you know? I just need to put something on cause I'm freezing. It's so, it's just a Columbia fleece green jacket. I will definitely part with that. This was sitting at my desk chair and I totally forgot about it. I just wanted to come on camera and show you that I'm not gonna get rid of this. I think I bought this this year, so I'm definitely not going to, but it's this RSO uh, Sherpa jacket. And I got this at Ross or TJ Maxx. And it's just black and white, like floral wavy print. It is so soft, it is so comfy, I keep it on my desk chair so that way when like I get cold at my desk I have a jacket to put on and I do that like I've been doing that for forever it's just the first time I'm doing it with this one Lands End jacket it, I kind of like to say it's my dad jacket I really like this but there's like nothing special about it and there's no reason for me to keep it when I have like so many others I think it's because it's not as heavy duty this is a maybe for sure blue hoodie it says, I'm sorry I haven't been myself lately. Maybe you have been yourself and that's what's so scary. And it has these two hunched over, like highly deformed humans. <laughs> so I've told the story about this a long time ago, but when I ordered this hoodie, I ordered it off of this website that like, I didn't really know a lot about, but it was to support like a small creator, a small artist on Instagram. His Instagram is Cal Kearns. Please follow him. I think he has, the most unique artwork I've ever seen that captures like this weird human experience. And so he was promoting his art being on like hoodies and I wanted to get this one. And I remember when I ordered it and it came in, it said it was from that website, but inside was a duster set and not this hoodie. So I had to call customer service and tell them what happened. They got a good chuckle out of it, which I'm glad they did because I did, but at first I was like, why, why did I get a duster set and not this hoodie? That is so far. Like if it was like, if they delivered a different hoodie with not this print or this color, I still would want this, but like that is closer than a duster set. Are you joking? That is my funny story about this. I'm keeping this because again, like I said, I supported a small artist. Oh my God. Okay. Then we're definitely getting rid of that five star hoodie because I just realized I have this friends of friends hoodie that I wear so much more frequently than that five sauce one and if you don't know friends of friends is um five sauces like brand 
I forget if it's like a music label or just like a random brand. I'll, I'll obviously pop on the screen what it actually is. But look at that artwork. That is so much prettier than the five sauce one. So yeah, we'll definitely get rid of the five sauce one and keep this one. I'm having a hard time speaking. I don't know why. And I hate it. Next one we're definitely not getting rid of because I got it for Christmas last year. It's this bright green Shrek hoodie that Jace got me, my brother, for Christmas. And it's one of my favorite things ever. After Christmas, I wore it like all the time. The brand that made this hoodie is called Dumb Good. And they have a lot of like pop culture related clothing. I love this next brand. It's by We're Not Really Strangers. And I think about this when they were having a sale, but it's just this red hoodie. The front says, warning, feelings may arise. And then on the back, it says, how are you really feeling? I really like it. Definitely keeping this. This one, I think I'll get rid of. It's just this very pastel green jacket. It has like a pattern on it. It's cute. I don't think I need it. So I will definitely get rid of that. This one, I will also keep. It's a blue hoodie that says mother. And then the earth, the O is the earth. And I forgot what I bought this in support of, but this was made with organic cotton and it's supposed to be environmentally friendly. I love that it's stitched. We're definitely keeping that one. Next is this Nasty Gal, like purple. I don't know what texture this is. Is it wool? I could not tell you. Honestly, I can't tell you. But it's just this lavender lilac, like light purple moment. I think I'll definitely keep this. I think I got it on clearance a long time ago from the Nasty Gal website. I think this and like a few other pieces, but this is the only thing that I kept that like looked good on me. I'm at odds at keeping this one or not. It's just this white, plain white hoodie, but it has Keith Haring's art on it. So there's that and there's a signature on the sleeve. Like I really like his work. I just don't know if I want it on a hoodie. Hmm. This one's a maybe too. I feel like it's disrespectful for some reason. Plain yellow tie-dye hoodie. I like the color yellow. I think I'm gonna keep this. Okay, okay. Look at this winter jacket. Are you this coat? Is that not the most gorgeous thing? I can't let this go. I bought this off of my friend Hannah when she was running one of those Instagram resell profiles. Like, I bought it from her a long time ago. The brand is Current Scene. It is so gorgeous. The only regret I have is not having this when I went to the Grand Canyon like three years ago because this would have been perfect. I'm sorry, look at that. Look how it like moves and the two colors together are just gorgeous the purple and the teal i'm not going anywhere cold soon but i can't get rid of this like it's just so gorgeous next is this worthington petite it's just like a blazer like a maroon blazer you know i only really like keep it for formal things this is one of those things i keep in the back of my closet when i absolutely need to wear it for something professional or formal this is one i'll be keeping navy blue jacket i forgot what the brand is but i after i bought this i bought this in like a tank top after i bought those two items i don't think i will be buying from them again because although i like their prints i don't like the type of clothing so like this hoodie not bad but do you see how like there's nothing in the front but the print is on the back it says we must embrace pain and burn it as fuel for our journey I think that's such a sick print, but why is it like on the back? Like it bothers me so much that like it's on the back and not the front. So I don't know what to do with this. I'm probably gonna keep it because I like the print so much that I'm willing to like put up with it. But I think if I don't wear it after some time, I think I might just get rid of it because what's the point if I can't see the print that I bought it for, you know? Then I have this plain blue Natalie and me like jacket it's cute but i don't think i need it so i think i'm just gonna get rid of this i also forgot that i have this hoodie i custom made it like i bought a hoodie and then i put this screen grab from your name on it and it took me a long time to do because of copyright issues and i had to tell them like i'm not trying to sell this i'm just trying to wear it and it's like i said it's this screen grab from your name like if you know your name if you watch that anime you understand this screenshot but i ordered it and it came in and it, i don't know if you can tell but like look at how grainy it is it does not look that great so i don't wear it that much and then recently like this morning john was telling me that he wears this when he goes out walking with willow and he's done it multiple times and i was like 
you know what you can just keep that you can put it on your side of the closet because i literally don't wear it ever like if he didn't wear it then i probably would get rid of it just because i don't like how grainy the image came out so that's like disappointing okay last but not least I think I might have bought this from the Drag Queens merch website, but I honestly don't remember. But, look at it. Do we all remember? Patty, don't start. Iconic moment in internet history, I will say. And this is one of my favorite hoodies ever, so I can't get rid of it. Wow. <laughs> wow, guys, look at this. I barely got rid of anything. I got rid of like three things. Let's go through our maybes again. Okay, this I said I was gonna let John try on and see if he wants it. Okay, we're getting rid of this now that I realize I have that Friends of Friends hoodie. White makes me nervous, like the color white, because I am very accident prone, so this would get stained so bad, and I'm surprised that it hasn't gotten stained within the time I've been having it, so I think I'll get rid of this too. And I think I'll get rid of this, because it's just like, I have like multiple green things, and I think I have not worn it since I got it. Okay, so we added three more things. So that's six things that I'm getting rid of. I don't think it's the best I could have done, but I love all of my outerwear pieces. I didn't think I was going to get rid of a lot of outerwear pieces, but at least I got rid of six, which I think is more than I thought I was going to do. So I think, I think that's something, you know, rather than nothing. Now that I've done that, I think I'm finally gonna reward myself with some food. Thank you for going through this section of my closet cleanup with me. It was a rough ride because I definitely think I should have ate beforehand, but I will see you guys when I'm eating lunch. Okay, hi. I ordered a lot of food. I don't know for what reason, like why, but I ordered from Chili's even though I ate there yesterday because <laughs> I am crazy. But I got some chips and salsa and then I got a side of steamed broccoli because that sounded really good. And then for my main course, oh my God, my server's name was Omnivore. It's like, I got a steak with fries and the white cheddar mac and cheese because I love their mac and cheese like don't even get it I, that's what i got last night i'm sorry that i didn't really record much when i was there at chili's because i didn't want to be rude to the other people who were nearby you know like i just didn't want to do that i got the white cheddar mac and cheese and fries as like my food because i wasn't really all that hungry and then i had that chips and salsa let's try the broccoli it's broccoli i think they could have steamed it a little bit longer let's try the fries because they were better yesterday when we went and sometimes when I order from DoorDash it gets a little soggy not bad and then let's make sure the steak is cooked I ordered it medium well yep that looks like it mm. Mm. that's actually not bad it's a little tough but what do you expect? You know, I ordered it medium well. Let's try the mac and cheese. I think their mac and cheese is my favorite. Mmm. You know, I don't know what they put in it, but it's good. Their chips and salsa is also so good. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh my god, I forgot that they put garlic butter, so I just poured garlic butter all over. Mmm. Mmm. Shut the f up. That is so good. Mmm. That is so good. Oh my god. Hi. It's now three something in the afternoon. I finished eating lunch. I am surprised I pretty much ate most of it. Like I didn't finish the chips and the salsa because it was like a lot, but the broccoli, the more that I ate it, the less it tasted good. So I didn't finish it. I don't know if you can see it right here. <laughs> okay, it's all right there. Cause I think they didn't steam it enough. So like it still was kind of crunchy and I don't hate crunchy broccoli, like raw broccoli, but I ordered steamed broccoli, so I don't know. And then the only other thing I didn't finish was the mac and cheese. I think it wasn't mixing well with the garlic butter that I put over everything. Like I put it over the steak, but because it was mixed in with everything else, like it made the some of the broccoli taste good. I didn't just like not eat any of it. I did eat some of it, but 
it made the broccoli taste good it made the fries taste good but the mac and cheese was just like so rich and you know obviously cheddar tasting and i don't know why it just like it wasn't going together so i saved that and then obviously the chips and the salsa i saved but I pretty much ate all of it and I'm like surprised. I mean, a sirloin six ounce steak was not big, but I mean, I was getting full by the time I ate like 75% of it because again, I'm like, I have a small stomach. It does not take a lot for me to feel full and I finished it. So I'm like really shocked at myself. Like I, don't, I usually don't eat that much. Sorry, I had to look at myself because I have like three cluster pimples right here and I like obviously picked at it and it's gone now but I just thought that was weird anyway I don't have anything else planned today I am thinking about ending this vlog pretty early in the day like it is only 3 p.m. but I don't plan on doing anything else I do have an early day tomorrow I work at 6 a.m. so that's gonna be fun I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog hopefully it's a lot longer than yesterday's vlog I just hope that it was much more interesting to watch than yesterday yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see y'all hopefully tomorrow bye